You know, what's interesting is, is that every time I travel to other countries as the minister, and even before that, and even when I travel on personal business, the thing that resonates most with people is my nationality. It's that I am Jamaican, because Jamaica symbolizes for them such a great nation and a great people and a culture that has given to the world not only attitudes of resilience, mm -hmm. but very good things in terms of their own perceptions and appreciation of things that make them feel good. Music, food, sport, the things that they can identify with that are excellent come from Jamaica, or jerk chicken, or coffee. Usain Bolt, Shelley Ann Fraser, Bob Marley. And these things resonate with the world. Why we need to celebrate ourselves is so that we can continue to engender who we are as a people to harness that excellence and for young people to understand really the history of where we are coming from, the struggles. Many people don't realize that the democracy in Angola and Zimbabwe and South Africa really has a firm footing in how Jamaica said to the rest of the world, we're not going to tolerate these things and we're not going to trade with some of these people and our music and our drums and our history really propel those people to fight. And so in our own being, we are revolutionaries and it's important for people not only to celebrate that as a part of our post-independence experience, but in celebrating it, understand that we don't stop there. We have to get that drive and have that opportunity to continue to propel our people towards greatness. So yes, um, we celebrate festival every year. Yes, we celebrate our history. The 150th anniversary of the Marat Bay Rebellion is not something to scoff at, particularly within the realm now of us fighting and doing the kind of technical work to get the Blue and Jonker Mountains and World Heritage Site, that was not an easy feat. But we, we did it. And so there are things that we must celebrate as a people, things to make us feel good, our, our cultural policies and our cultural mores and, and norms are, are what makes us truly Jamaican and, and what gives us our Jamaicanness. So we must celebrate it. And celebration doesn't only mean having fun and, and, and enjoying ourselves. And the truth is that is important. It is important for people, especially our children, to have the opportunity to enjoy themselves. No one in the world, in any generation, must not enjoy themselves. We must. And no one should make us feel apologetic for doing it. We have success stories in this country. We have significant success stories. And anyone that makes you feel guilty about enjoying yourself, that's not someone that you really should have in your space because there are days that you need to de-stress. There are days that you need to take time for yourselves. You might not be a party person, but you might be a gala person. You might be a mellow go round person. You might be a literary festival person. So we put in place things for different people to be able to reflect, um, go forward, and say, this is Jamaica, my Jamaica. So I'm not apologetic as a Minister of Youth and Culture for spending money and getting money from not only the Consolidated Fund but from other agencies to give our people that appreciation. And they should see it as such. They must see it as such, just in the same way that you have your personal family when you save to have family reunions and you save for your Christmas dinner or you save for that new church hat. It makes you feel special. Right? When you put on a round robin in your community, those are the things that make you feel special. As a government, we want our people to feel special.